Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm just going to address a few things that I'm going to help out, you know, maybe some newcomers into the space of Chia sharing my pool information, how much I'm actually plotting, what I'm actually doing, and some of the content that I release. Of course, the, you know, the updates with the whole 1.31 and the 1.3, I went through that, but I haven't up updated to the latest and greatest, which is the 1.31, only because I ran into other things that I needed to do because of my dead motherboard and building out this machine with my son. You know, those are the little things that got in the way, you know, life stuff so basically this video today is going to go over a few items within chia maybe it's new to you maybe it's not but if you've been on this space you probably know that i've been doing this for the last year or how long the mainnet has been around that's how long the poor investor has been doing chia so on gg pool which i'm a part of right now i actually have all my plots going there so let me just go and show you the leaderboard this is me right here i have 257 terabytes or at least that's what they're counting for i do have it on two different harvesters i mean well one farmer and one harvester actually identifies that which is pretty cool right and this is how much i've earned so far since joining gg pool and i can link that in my description as well on when i actually first interviewed gg pool on this channel from that time till now that's how much i've earned of course they were doing drops daily right now uh, gg pool has a drop in the next six days that currently just passed and i attained because if we go back to this and we go to our payouts there is a promotional one right here 0 0.01 that's what i earned so each day so far 21 oh wow did i did i hit a block or something no because it's oh no i would have been more if i hit a block so i had two payouts in one day which is pretty rare oh we missed the day did we miss a day no, it didn't seem like that. 20, 18, 19, 20, right? I got paid out twice on the 20th. 20 again for the promotion. Wow, I got paid twice out? Because normally I'm looking over here. The 18th, the 17th, the 16th. Oh no, I did get two payouts. All right, that's my confusion. 0 0.04, 0 0.04. Pretty cool, right? What they claim as harvester. One is a harvester, one is a farmer. And this, this is where all my stuff is. So what I'm saying is there is, when we go back to GG Pool, it says 28.553. If we go to Cheer Explorer, it's saying 27.86. If I look at the GUI, it's 28.514. So it's closer to GG Pool's numbers. So I'm not sure which one is more accurate and which one is not. That's a little confusing. So because at first I went straight to the Chia Explorer and I was like oh my goodness it went down even more than where it was but actually it's been sitting on the 28 for some time now of course it has dropped tremendously within the last few weeks I would say from the 30s as high as 30 maybe people are still having issues with their updates on the 1.31 because that's the latest I haven't even updated that I saw on the different various channels uh, social media reddit facebook keybase whatever that people are still running into certain issues with it and I didn't mean do it yet I, I just didn't get a chance to because I was messing of course if you have seen messing with the new build the new recording machine working with my son just just want to recap march 19 was the main net one year anniversary unfortunately even though number of nodes grew and this is the country wide identifying all the nodes in a different country which is pretty pretty cool i didn't realize that china has such a strong presence i knew they have the presence and were into chia but i did not know that it was such a high volume compared even more so than the united states that's telling you a lot right especially now that china has banned mining proof of work coins uh, like bitcoin and ethereum do people still not do it that's not entirely true because i know there's some youtubers who are in that area that is still mining ethereum you can try to prevent it but obviously people are still gonna do it if they have or if they want to let's go over the price so the price has now has been a more all-time low i can't even say all-time high it is a all-time low not looking so good it looks even worse when it's in the um um, night vision do you call it night vision it's it looks even worse when it's like like when is it like the white regular white background it doesn't look as bad but when you highlight it in like the dark mode oh my goodness it looks like a, like the end of the world or something it looks just like hell or something like that anyway uh seven day let's see what was the peak at 68 oh my goodness from the seven day let's see a month ago we were still in the 80s a month ago there's a lot of people who are still saying that these are uh, price charts now i'm not going to say I'm, I'm claiming to be a professional in this 
area. They're saying that they see trends that will potentially bring Chia way back up. I, I, I honestly, I don't know how. I buy stocks and all, and and I look at charts, but honestly, I, I don't know where they're, what they're seeing that I don't. We are at a all time low, 6568 currently on the coin market cap. Are we still waiting for exchanges to happen? Possibly. When's that gonna happen? Have no idea. So that's pretty much a recap. So like I said, I am on GG Pool. I will be linking some of the videos that I will throw out to a lot of newbies who's saying that they want to jump on Chia, you know, since I've done a video not too long ago. And those are the steps that I would have taken before I've done what I did a year ago by buying, you know, retail drives and putting these miscellaneous rigs together or PC cases. I would have just bought like an entire 24 bay server, especially if you planning to put some substantial amount of dollars into this just to test it out, which is cool as well. Or maybe you just want to opt to get like a 10 terabyte drive or a 16 terabyte drive and test your luck with that. Now, of course, there's not going to be much profit in that but the energy consumption of it will be very very low so that's pretty much where if you were to jump into chia right now you can do all that i wouldn't spend any money on building a rig especially if you have a machine that's capable right now maybe throw in an ssd or an nvme just to plot to a 10 terabyte or 16 terabyte drive or whatever terabytes you want to test it on but don't expect too much especially if you're coming in with such a low volume obviously you have to put in more in order to gain more but that's something maybe for a later time if you feel like you want to grow or expand what you have currently just to get a feel for it test out the software test out the GUI test it out on Linux whatever it is that you want to try out first or you can you know and of course you can always reach me on my discord and we have a whole group of guys there that are more than willing to help and give two cents on where we are and how we've been doing it and they love to share all that information so remember to hit that like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys again really soon bye